Hello friends, how are you? I hope everybody had a very wonderful New Year's and a wonderful holiday season. I am back for 2022 and we are doing what I received for Christmas this year. So my Christmas gifts, um, things that Santa got for me because I was such a good girl. Honestly, I got one of the best gifts ever this year. So hold out, stay tuned. That's gonna be the last thing. I know it's the last thing I'm gonna show you, saving the best for last, but I'm very, 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 very excited about this gift. I actually think I wasn't gonna get it. I, I, I kind of thought, oh, I'm gonna get this for Christmas. And then I was told, hell no, you're not getting it. And then <laughs> I opened it on Christmas and I was so stunned that I had like no reaction. So very excited to share that with you. I also received a ton of wonderful, thoughtful gifts. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys as my first, here's Hudson, as my first video back for the new year. So, <laughs> If you guys are new here, I'm Lizzie and I post pretty much whatever I want to post about, which I know is a very broad statement, but bear with me, I'll explain. I post about things that I enjoy and things that I think that other people like me would enjoy as well. So I post about my garden, I post about cooking videos, um, daily vlogging videos, cleaning videos, stuff like that. I also throw a little bit of fashion in there, so if you guys are interested in anything like that then definitely join me be my friend hit the subscribe button and comment and yeah I would love to have like a community here of people who are like-minded <laughs> and um, just you know enjoy each other so let's get right on into it thing that is not like a tangible gift is I spent time with my family this year for Christmas which is one of the best gifts that you can get is being lucky enough to spend time with the people who mean the most to you. Um, I think that we all felt over the last year or two um, the hardships that came um, from not being able to see your loved ones and stuff like that. And um, I think that I'm very lucky and I was very fortunate to be able to spend Christmas in my childhood home with my family and um, I just feel very lucky for that. But enough of that sensitivity, we're going straight into the actual gifts that I unwrapped. Um, I want to start off with some things that I received from work. So um, we did a Secret Santa at work and we also um, were very fortunate that our company or the company that I work for, they allotted management uh, amount of money to spend for everybody as a Christmas gift. So what they did is they went to the store and they got so much of like the same amount of money, like different things that costed the same amount of money. <laughs> and they wrapped everything, they put everybody's name into a little bowl and then my management um, called names out of that bowl and it went once your name was called you could go and pick out whatever you wanted so when my name was called I picked something I opened it wasn't really too happy about it and thankfully somebody else wasn't too happy about what they got and um, we switched so um, totally not being like rude or anything like that it was just it what I received wasn't really up my alley or what I picked I should say wasn't really up my alley and what this girl picked wasn't really up her alley anyway she she was like I have no need for it but I like what you have and I was like well I have no need for what I have but I like what you have and so we switched um, so I'll share that with you guys so I switch for a home theater projector um, so yeah this is what I switched for. Very excited about this. I've been trying to decide like where I, we're going to like watch a movie and cause none of like my walls are bare enough for it. But I was thinking on a really, really nice, cool spring night, 
setting up in the backyard a white sheet and sitting out and being under the stars and watching a romantic movie or a funny movie or a scary movie even would be really, really nice. So I am saving this for that special occasion. That is the first thing down. <laughs> Um, next thing is our Secret Santa. So we had a Secret Santa where we shared our favorite smells, drinks, um, activities, hobbies, stuff like that. We put it on a piece of paper, folded it up, put it in a box, and then everybody went and picked a name out of the box. And so the person who got me, um, she gave me some really, really nice things. So. Um, the first thing she gave me, I'm actually already using. <laughs> she got me a candle. It has a wood burner wick and um, it, it, it's like a um, Fraser fur scent. Beautiful candle and I'm already almost out of it. So I'm still burning it even though it's after <laughs> the holidays and I'm gonna burn it until there's nothing left of it. It's not like a very strong scent, but it is a very lovely scent. So I have that going right now as we speak. The other thing she gave me was in here. These are um, Castile Energy Peppermint Soap and Body Butter. So I'll show you what they look like. I am very excited to use these. I obviously haven't used them yet. My skin is very sensitive, so um, I've been waiting for a moment or a day or two when I wouldn't have to be going to work and today's the day I think I might think I might try and use these tonight because I don't have to work for the rest of the week so I'll see how um, how it goes tonight but oh my gosh it smells like a candy cane it smells delicious so I'm going to be using these tonight I think I kind of have to like work myself up to it because I'm really scared I'm gonna have a reaction, but they smell amazing. They're also super cute on the inside. I think, I don't know, I just think that's very like aesthetically pleasing. She also gave me a bunch of face masks. Um, so there's five here, they're all super cute. And I might even try to use these tonight as well. So, or at least one of them. Like, I don't know. There was one in here. Which one? This one. The Nordic White Peeling Pack. So I think I'm going to try this one tonight before I go to sleep. And the last thing that I got. Oh, hello. Hello. There I am. <laughs> the last thing that I got for my Secret Santa is a bottle of wine so i received the chateau michel rosé um i haven't had this one yet but i love wine and i love rosé so um i think i'm going to go ahead put this in the fridge and possibly have it sometime this week so yeah that is going straight in the fridge and i just feel very fortunate that um i received such wonderful gifts at work so i don't know if other people experience stuff like that but uh, that was very kind oh and I almost forgot, I also, with my gift from corporate, received two wonderful candles. These are called Warm Rustic Woods. They have three wicks in them and uh, they smell kind of, it's a very manly smell, very woody. Um, it just, it smells like clean man. Like, <laughs> there's really no other way to explain it and I love the jars that this comes in. So. Um, very excited for that and I just feel so fortunate and so lucky that um, I'm able to receive such wonderful things from work. I also uh, received a ton of gift cards this year. So I actually have five gift cards this year, um, even a Starbucks card. So a bunch of cards, I could like fan myself with them um, and I already have a an idea of what I'm gonna spend them on and they have to go with my wonderful gift that I'll be sharing with you guys at the end of the video so yeah very excited about gift cards I'm also like the worst with gift cards like I'm not gonna lie I always get so excited with them and then I never use them but this year 
2022, I'm not gonna be that girl. I'm going to be using my gift cards. <laughs> Say that a thousand times. I'm going to be using them this year. <laughs> um, the other thing I got that was like kind of like a gag gift, I thought it was really funny. Um, so my boyfriend's brother, for Christmas, he got me a, I think it's a gag gift, but I think he actually genuinely meant it as a gift. <laughs> but for any time that we have like a family event on his side of the family, I'm the one who shows up with like wine or a bottle of champagne or a bottle of Prosecco. And I'm the one who brings that for everybody. So, and it's kind of turned into like this joke, like Lizzie always has like alcohol or something like that. I'm not an alcoholic, but for family events and stuff like that, I don't know. It's nice when like you don't have to work the next day and stuff like that. It's nice to enjoy yourself. And so it kind of became this like inside joke, like a funny little, thing and so he bought me a one bottle tote with a corkscrew so that when i go over for family events i can just pop the bottle right in and it even has a corkscrew so i don't even have to worry about that and i don't know i just thought that was so funny so handy and thank you so much <laughs> the next part and like the next gift is how I know I'm getting old, like how I know I am no longer a child. Because growing up, if I were to have received this as a gift, I would have been like, ugh, why? But now as an adult, I received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I received 10 pairs of socks here. And I am so happy about them. They're beautiful black, gray, and this like super cute pink salmon color. Um, and yeah, very excited. 10 pairs, you can't go wrong. I don't know why, but socks are just like wonderful. It's nice to have like cute socks, fun socks, plain socks, white socks, black socks. Most of my socks are all like black and white not that you need to know but this is gonna be fun to add some color into them so yeah i got a bunch of socks and i'm very happy about it the next gift i received is very very practical and it is a beautiful rechargeable battery so this is a um, rechargeable battery pack from the brand nimble um, they have on their um package that it's made from 100% recycled plastic, free e-waste recycling, carbon neutral uh, shipping, plastic free packaging, sustainable materials, ethical suppliers, and designed to last. So yeah, this is extremely exciting for me because I am constantly forgetting to charge my phone, needing, I end up needing to charge it while I'm using it, which I don't think is that good. I don't, I don't know the thought process there is like why that doesn't sound good. And, um, also I charge it at work sometimes, which sucks. Um, I don't necessarily want my phone just kind of like sitting out. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited that I can just pop this on, throw it in my bag and let my phone charge while it's out of prying eyes. So yeah, I'm very, very excited about this one. I'm going to be throwing, actually, I need to charge it and then throw it in my purse so that I always have it. You never know when you'll need something like this. So thank you very much for that gift. The next three gifts um, were jewelry, and I am very thankful for these gifts. They're absolutely stunning, um, and I'm a big, big fan of jewelry. I've been collecting jewelry since I was old enough to own jewelry, and um, yeah, I'm very, very excited about it. The first one is actually this ring that I'm wearing on my thumb. So. I'll take it off for you guys. I've been wearing this since I got it. So let me show it to you guys. So it actually has the evil eye on it. So it is protecting you from any bad energy. And I've been wearing it since literally the moment I opened the box. Um, I just, I love it. I love it so much. I have only taken it off really to shower and to sleep. So um, yeah, this, this one meant a lot. So I, I feel very, very fortunate that I received this one. 
my other um, jewelry actually inspired me there it's a pair of earrings and it inspired me to get my second hole so um, I only have one hole for my earrings um, I got my ears pierced actually with me my sister my grandmother when I was like 13 years old <laughs> the three of us didn't have our ears pierced yes that's right my grandmother did not have her ears pierced and we all went the three of us my mother took us and um she got our ears pierced for us and it was actually for mother's day so yeah that was a great memory that i have and um i think it's time to get my second hole so this piece inspired that thought um i'll go ahead and show it to you now so as you can see they're very dainty beautiful stunning earrings with this they're gold with this beautiful pearlescent blue they're just this beautiful pearlescent blue on the gold and it's just so stunning they hug right up against your earlobe and they look so elegant so stunning and I just thought how beautiful would that look as a um, second hole little earring um, this is from the brand little keystone everyday elegance so I'll show you the name of the brand I'm going to be going on their website um, or something to try and find more jewelry because it was just this these are just so beautiful they're so beautiful and I'm very very thankful and I love them very much so I'm gonna keep these simply safe. The last piece is a pair of earrings, second pair, that are a gift for my father. So we were collectively wrapping gifts when I was back home and I saw this bag and it said Macy's on it, a small little black Macy's bag. And so I was like, ooh, someone got jewelry. <laughs> so I go to my dad, I was like, hey dad, what's in uh, this Macy's? bag is this a gift for someone is this something that it's okay for me to wrap for you can I help help you out and he was like mm, no you can just give that to me and walk away <laughs> so I was like okay fine um and I let him do his thing and I came back just kind of like being a jerk and I was like so anything you're wrapping for me and he was like absolutely not <laughs> so he was like mind your own business so I was like okay 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 so then the last gift that I opened for Christmas was a pair of earrings and my father actually bought matching for my sister and I and then my mother got an all gold version. So I'll show you. I've actually been wearing these. I put them on right then and there and I haven't taken them off. I've only taken them off to show you guys in this video. So um, I'll go ahead Try to get in close so that you can see them. They are three different types of gold, white gold, gold gold, like yellow gold, and then a rose gold. Ignore my horrible nails, but these are the earrings. These earrings are so stunning, so beautiful. They're like extremely, extremely elegant, and I'm actually gonna put them back on because I just really, really love them and I just thought it was so special that my father got matching ones for me my sister and my mother just so thoughtful and so special these are so special and so elegant and I just I really 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 love them and I like I said, I only took them off so that I can show you them in this video. I haven't taken them off since Christmas Day. I love them so much. Okay, it's time to go get the showstopper. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. And this baby right here was a very, very, very wonderful, thoughtful, and special gift from my boyfriend. So I guess before I even tell you the story behind it, I'm just gonna show it to you guys. So this is my wonderful laptop. It's an XPS Dell 17. And um, it's just, can you see? It's, it's massive. 
and it's wonderful and it's stunning and the screen is wonderful and it's everything that I've wanted for years. I've been wanting an XPS years I've been wanting one and I finally got one um, and I just like I'm petting it right now because I love it so much and I've been playing with it pretty much every day and it's just been a dream come true having this laptop and I'll tell you I him and I had been talking about me buying my own laptop for months even years actually and I've always just been like they're too expensive I have so many bills and student loans and this that and the other thing and I couldn't justify buying the laptop that I wanted I haven't had a computer of my own since college and my computer actually died like right after I graduated like it was holding on for dear life while I was writing my thesis and once I graduated it was like I couldn't do anything other than open a word document on that computer <laughs> so after that I just didn't really have a reason for a computer because my boyfriend had and still does have a desktop computer which he built and it's wonderful it works amazing and I have my phone and a tablet um, and so it was like I didn't really have a need for my own laptop until I started making these videos and until I started like really wanting to be active on like YouTube and social media and stuff like that that I was like oh I actually kind of need this and it's like a really expensive there's been times where like even though my boyfriend's wonderful and if I said hey can I use your computer to like edit a video or something like that he's always said of course always stopped what he was doing even to let me use his computer but I always kind of felt bad for like making him stop doing what he was doing or asking him to stop playing his video games so that I could play and you know he works just as much as I do and if that's like what he wants to do in his downtime I always just felt kind of bad about it and um, even though he never made me feel that way it was my own thing feeling that way and so I had been saying since like March of 2021 that I want to get my own laptop and I would save and I would save and then something would come up and I ended up just like stop I stopped saving for it and I just kind of felt like you know it is what it is I'm not going to get one and I'm just gonna have to kind of like deal with that and um, I came very close to getting one in the summer um, I actually almost bought one at um, Best Buy but there was nobody around and someone like blew us off and so I was like I'm not getting one here um, so I came very close to buying one when like I really couldn't afford it and so I didn't and I guessed my boyfriend he had it all that and um, he went online around I guess like Black Friday or something like that I, I don't really know when and he he got this for me and he told me hey I'm gonna get this which one do you want this that, and the other thing and then I was like N absolutely not you cannot buy this you cannot get this um and he was like but I want to give it I want to give it to you <laughs> I know you really want this and I want to give you what you want and um I kind of was like it's absolutely too much money I cannot ask that of you um and so he told me he didn't get it for me <laughs> And he told me he got me something and I cried like I honestly I felt like he was gonna buy it for me anyway even though I told him not to which is like a sick thing in my head um, and so um, he told me like I absolutely did not buy that for you you did not get that don't even think about it don't get your hopes up you did not get that I got you something else so I was like okay like that's fine like I know I'm gonna prepare myself for it so I'm sitting there on Christmas morning and um, he comes out with this gift for me and I open it and it's this massive, massive box for this massive computer. And I didn't even know how to react. I was just kind of like, uh, like stunned and shocked and very, very happy, but like not sure how to express that emotion. And, um, I finally had like a chance we set up the computer and um, 
and I started downloading all of like things that I need for to like make videos and edit photos and like all this stuff and um, I was sitting on my couch like after Christmas we had come home from our vacation and I was sitting on my couch with my dog and I had my little fireplace on and I had my Christmas tree on and I'm like sitting there with my laptop and I'm doing something that's like entertaining for me and like fun for me in a way that's like that I don't often get like something that's like fulfilling for me on like a personal level and I called my boyfriend over and I said I want to apologize for the way that I responded on Christmas because on Christmas I was just like wait what <laughs> and I said um this moment right now of me sitting here with all of the things that I've been wanting for a very long time and I started crying because I was so happy and like just filled with this like joy for this gift um, it was so thoughtful and it was just the most amazing Christmas gift I've ever received I, I can't even put it into words how happy that this laptop makes me I finally feel like I can edit more videos and create more content for you guys and um so be ready because <laughs> it's coming <laughs> and uh yeah that's that's my laptop story and that's my wonderful christmas gift that's like amazing there's just really no other words to describe oh and i did say earlier that i was going to use like one of these cards for this gift so i'm going to be purchasing a mouse because i didn't get a mouse with it but that's fine so i'm going to be buying a wireless mouse and then i'm also going there's like hair in my face <laughs> i'm also going to be getting a like little stand thing so that i can sit down in my bed or on my couch and i don't have to like put the laptop in between my legs like cross-legged i can like have it on a stand and um yeah so that's what i'm going to be purchasing i'm going to have to figure that out but that's what i'm going to be using some of these gift cards for so that's it everybody i'm going to go cradle my gift and um probably edit this video on my new laptop all right my friends well i feel like this is the end of the video here um i hope you all had a very very wonderful holiday season whatever holiday you celebrate and i really do hope you had a great new year fingers crossed I'm not gonna say this is the year for us I'm not gonna say this is the year for me or anybody but fingers crossed <laughs> this is a good year and um, I just want to say thank you again to anybody who has um, followed me on here, subscribed, anybody who has commented. Um, I really look forward to the community that we can build here. And um, I look forward to having all of you guys as friends and people who I can comment with and have a discussion and stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.